Okay. I am out here because I am actually the legislative director for ATU Local 998. I am a transit driver and a transit rider. People in my family use transit, even when they have a car. Uh, I drive people to work, to school, doctor appointments, every day. That's what I do. Patrick Clemens, uh, financial secretary Thank for uh, Local 998, the uh, transit union. And we're out here to uh, get the word out to the people that uh, the bus company is not uh, playing games with them. We want to let everybody know how devastating these route cuts are going to be, the service cuts in transit, and how they're going to affect the people in Milwaukee County. We need to bring people's attention to the cuts that our transit system is facing because what's going to happen is we may as well not even have one. People are going to be disenfranchised, they're going to be left in their homes, people with disabilities are not going to be able to be picked up and taken where they need to go. This is what we're looking at. It's not some, something that we're imagining. It's on paper. Milwaukee County Transit gets cut back. Federal law says that paratransit can only travel three quarters of a mile past the last point of public transportation. So there's some 11,000 people out there that are going to be cut off uh, from paratransit service. And it, it's just, uh, it's unconscionable that people can do that. It's just going to be a tremendous impact on people that rely on transit for jobs, for, uh, for our elderly, for our people with disabilities, people trying to get to school. These transit cuts, they're going to add 13,000 more jobs that people cannot get to because there's no transportation to them. If you, if you ride uh, Route 67, uh, it's only going to take you to uh, either 84th or 92nd Street and Greenfield, and you have to get off the bus and wait for a shuttle bus that is only going to be running like once an hour. So I don't know how you can uh, predict when you're going to get to work when you have such body service. So how do you feel about Chris Abley uh, and his most recent kind of action to try to get them running to save some of the freeway fire system? I, I think Chris Abley understands transit. He, he gets it that we have to have transit, how important it is to our, our community. The thing is, we have to wait now. We have to wait and see if that money comes through. It's a good idea, but it's not a done deal.